Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you're trying to multiply a time value by an hourly rate. So for example, for Monday, this person worked eight and a half hours. They'll multiply it by that hourly rate. Press enter. And this is why you've come to this video because you get a very strange result. Now to understand what's going on here, you need to understand how times are stored in Excel. Let's, for example, take this midday value here. If I take off the time format, and I can do that by just switching to the general format, you can see that midday is equivalent to 0.5 because that's half the way through a 24 hour period. If I took half past six in the evening, and I did the same thing, you can see I'm just over three quarters of the way through a 24 hour period. So these time values are all stored as a fraction of a day, essentially. Now to convert them to a whole number, all you do is you multiply them by 24. So if I multiply this result by 24, 24 hours in a day, I get the correct pay amount. Now, if I wanna copy this down, I just need to lock G2. I'm doing that with F4 on my keyboard. And then I can double click here to copy it down and I get the pay for each of these days. Now, another thing you might be trying to do is sum up the times worked and then work out the total pay for the week. So we'll imagine we don't have this column. Now, if I add up these values, so let's auto sum them. Again, I'm getting a strange result. There's more than 14 hours here. Now, the problem here is with the time format. The time format is designed for a 24 hour clock, so it never exceeds 24 hours. Now to fix that, right click in the cell, go to format cells, make sure you're on custom down here. And then in the type box, you wanna make sure you've got H colon MM, or you might have two H's, doesn't really matter. And what you do is you put square brackets around the H's or the H, and that will then successfully add up the hours worked. And to work out the total pay for the week, I would say equals this times 24 times the hourly rate.